trigger warning. If you're an arachnophobic, I'd probably stay away from this video. Tarantula venom. It's not as deadly as you might have first thought. Although a spider bite can be kind of painful to humans, the venom from a tarantula isn't really going to cause you too much trouble. Typically, the venom from a tarantula is often weaker than your average bee. And according to some new research, tarantula venom could help to control blood sugar levels. Hey guys, um, kind of a crazy story today. This broke just after I uploaded the T1D news update, so that's why you didn't find it in there. Also, it's not specifically um, T1D news, it's more T2D news today. Uh, it's all about spiders and their venom and how they could help people get better. Let's get into it. Venom from the Mexican blonde tarantula, which looks like this and is apparently quite a popular pet, you wouldn't find one of them in this room, has been found to increase production of insulin, which most of us know is a blood sugar lowering hormone. Now, type 1 diabetics like me aren't likely to benefit from this, but this is exciting for people living with type 2 diabetes who account for around 90% of of people diagnosed with a form of diabetes here in the UK. Now, if you didn't know, type 2 diabetes comes about when a patient's body can't make a sufficient level of insulin or the insulin that is produced isn't working properly. So this team from Ulster University in Northern Ireland has created a synthetic version of a key molecule within the venom of this tarantula, which rapidly reduced blood sugar levels in mice with elevated glucose. According to the research team, tarantula venom contains millions of biologically active molecules that may have therapeutic potential. And they focused in on a specific molecule with this name, you know, since it's got AC1 after the end of it. And, and after creating uh, synthetic versions of beta cells, insulin secretion more than doubled in a laboratory experiment and beta cell growth was also improved. Then, as often happens in these sorts of studies, they went up a step and put this molecule in mice where their blood sugar was steadily reduced and insulin was released faster. The mice also went on to eat less, suggesting that the molecule may have actually suppressed the rodent's appetite. Now, this is an exciting development because there are medicines like Ozempic, which are used to treat people with type 2 diabetes to help them, you know, control hunger cravings and get their weight down and on the road to hopefully reversing type 2 diabetes, which is possible given the right tools. But I wouldn't throw away the metformin just yet. This research is still in its very early stages. However, the researchers do say that the development could lead to new therapies to help people with type 2 diabetes to manage their condition better and reduce the risk of serious diabetes related complications. Now it won't surprise you that Diabetes UK funded this research project and this is just a latest in the long line of Diabetes UK backed developments. You should check out the video linked here I think if I'm pointing at the right space for a recap of all of their 2020 breakthroughs. The charities also said that it would look forward to further studies to explore whether tarantula venom based therapies could be developed to be effective and safe in people providing a new weapon in the armory for treating type 2 diabetes. So what are your thoughts on this? Would you like to take tarantula venom as a treatment to help you with diabetes? Um, are you jealous type ones that the type two diabetics are getting this cool new treatment potentially in the future? Let me know in the comments box below. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you wanna help support me to make more videos too, then head on over to my Patreon for early access to my videos and you can message me on there too. We can be in daily communication if you like. You can join my Patreon for as little as one pound. I also like to send out uh, little handmade gifts to my supporters too. So if you want one of them, head over there, patreon.com forward slash Jamie Lowe TV. Or if you'd like to check out some um, diabetes clothing and accessories designed by me, then head, head to my Teespring and Spreadshirt shops. Links as always in the description box below. But that's all from me. I'll see you next week on my channel. Bye bye for now.